Hi everyone, Diana Alexander here again from San Bernardino County COVID-19 News with a new update for you. I do want to open the video again by saying to those who may have concern because they see me without a mask that we're taking advantage of technology and I'm actually doing the video today in one location while our special guest is at a completely different location. So I was able to do this without a mask. I'm really happy to be able to bring to you again someone who we introduced before, and that was Dr. Troy Pennington, emergency room doctor at Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. He talked to us on a different video about what does it mean to flatten the curve. Well, today we have him back again, but this time he's gonna answer a question a lot of you had. People have been talking about the symptoms of coronavirus. What does it mean to have symptoms, or what does it mean to be asymptomatic? We're gonna bring Dr. Pennington to you right now to explain the difference for you. Hi guys, one of the questions that we're repeatedly get is what's the difference between like regular transmission and asymptomatic transmission? One of the things that I wanted to cover first was what are the most common signs and symptoms that we're seeing with people that are presenting with coronavirus. The most common things that we see presenting to the emergency department, first and foremost is cough. So about 68% of the people that have this virus have some sort of a cough. It's usually described as a dry cough. The second most common thing is fever. And this is in about 44% of the people. So recognize you do not have to have fever. You could still have the virus. You could still transmit it to other people. That's only about 44% of people when they initially present to the hospital. Then when we look at the other symptoms, fatigue is the most other common symptom. That's about 38% of the population. And then from there, we see things like sputum and shortness of breath and sore throat and headache. Those kind of round out the most common constellation of symptoms of people presenting to the emergency department. But the point we wanted to make right now is that even if you have none of these symptoms, some people are still asymptomatic carriers of this virus. They become infected, they don't have any overt symptoms, they still may be able to infect other people. So you could have relatively minor symptoms, you could pass it on to grandma or grandpa, and they could become seriously ill or even put their life at risk. So that's the important thing that we wanted you to recognize. Thank you, Dr. Pennington. We can't say enough about the fact that you took time from what I know is an incredibly busy schedule just to reach out to our community members and explain this important information to them. We look forward to having you with us again. In the meantime, Diana Alexander from San Bernardino County COVID-19 News with another update. Thank you, take care, and stay safe.